One, two, one, two. And I think we are live. Hi, guys. Uh, happy Wednesday and uh, happy Veterans Day to whoever was on courses. Um, happy to be here. Uh, thankful today uh, for all our people who are serving or served and uh, protected this country and uh, as well Israel, where I'm coming from. Cool. So uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, one thing and it is benefits of uh, low carbohydrate and uh, ketogenic diets other than weight loss. And I've been asked almost every single day by people who know me and by, by people who saw my journey, by people who, um, you know, observed me in the gym and uh, by just people who, who see what I do and what, how I look like. And the question is, why do you still diet? Why you want to, you know, keto? Why are you going on low carb, like still low carb diet? What's the point? You look good, you lost weight. And here's the answer. Um, you can lose weight on absolutely any diet because weight loss is not a function of any specific type of dieting. Uh, it's not Mediterranean diet, it's not ketogenic diet, not low fat, not low carb, no, you know, egg fast, whatever. You only lose weight and to be specific, lose fat due to caloric deficit. If you're not in caloric deficit, you can eat all you want. Uh, you can just sleep on potatoes or on eggs or be ketogenic all you want. You will not lose anything as long as you're not in caloric deficit. And the deficit doesn't mean anything. you can, you know, just eat on plants. Or you can eat sugar all day as long as you're not over your calories. You will not gain fat. However, it really depends on... Uh, what you eat in terms of how you feel and your uh, health span and your longevity and your uh, you know overall health. And here's the thing, right? Fat and weight, they are not only parameters of health. There's so many things. And I get so many clients who come in who are relatively lean and maybe even underweight, uh, or think that they eat healthy and when we look under the hood um, they have different issues so people come uh, they are not overweight but they have high blood sugar they have systemic inflammation they have low energy or maybe they can sleep maybe have they have um, different mental disorders and things like that and all of that if you look really deep is connected to what we eat, right? There's that gut-brain connection, and um, gut is essentially second brain. Sorry. What we eat goes into the gut, and then through, from gut through vagus nerve goes to the brain. You don't necessarily feel stuff, but it does have reflection on your health. So if one doesn't overeat, but the food they eat is highly processed and not good for you, you will be prone to different diseases. You will have systemic inflammation, you will get uh, you know, uh, viruses. Just an example, having just a little bit of sugar, as much as 50 grams, will make you prone to different diseases way more for the next several hours it reduces your immunity by 50% for three, four hours just by eating something sweet, which is not much in uh, most people's perception because when they really eat sweets, it doesn't end with 50 grams. And by the way, eating uh, 100 grams of glucose, meaning anything with sugar uh, on a daily basis is a very good uh, path to diabetes. So something that needs to be, uh, be kept in mind especially that so many kids, so many young children, they eat shitload of sweets on a daily basis uh, and they will end up obese or unhealthy. They're just a matter of time. 
and uh, parents who give them sweets and say, well, let them be kids, do not really understand how it works. I, yeah, yesterday I had a kind of backlash when I was uh, complaining about the lunch my kids got at school and it was full of sugar, right? Uh, they get crackers, they get um, chocolate milk, they get uh, Kellogg's uh, waffles and uh, orange juice and apple juice. And essentially kid gets for lunch over 100 grams of sugar, just for lunch in a very small, you know, baggie. And think about if every kid will eat that daily just for lunch and it's not all their food. They will keep on being hungry because there's zero nutrients there and uh, they will overload with sugar. But uh, I'm being sidetracked here. So why am I low carb? Why am I doing ketogenic diet? And why it is my way of living? It's not a diet, why I'm not going off it. Obviously, now and then I will go and deviate and eat, you know, something extra. And I will, sorry for that, but most of the time, 90% of the time, I will only eat that. When you have uh, yourself on the type of the diet, your mental focus is unbelievable. You are never tired if you eat right, if you are uh, supplementing your nutrients. Your energy levels are through the roof. And because your inflammation is down on an existing, you are not prone to different diseases that uh, people consider normal. For example, I haven't have a cold or anything close to that, headache or stomach pain or heartburn, anything, you name it, in five years. And that's because my systemic inflammation is at the floor level. That's because my insulin and the, at the floor level. And I feel amazing. You know, you wake me up at 3 a.m., I'm ready to go. Wake me up at 4 a.m., I'm ready to go. And when I go to sleep, I shut down. Prior to that, I wouldn't be able to sleep normally. If I would be waking up, I would be super tired. Or if it would be middle of the night, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. And still after 8 or 9 or 10 hours of sleep, I would be waking up and I would be tired. Now I can sleep for hours. I get up and I'm ready to go. Previously, I would be get, catching cold every couple of months. I would be catching flu. Uh, and that's with a vaccine, with shots every other year. Now I'm not taking any shots. Uh, none of us actually does. And uh, we're good. And that's all because we do not eat those foods. And uh, someone has a question here. So yes, uh, I, I cannot answer, but this is being recorded and uh, you will be able to share this once we finish the broadcast. Unfortunately, because I'm using the uh, external app, I cannot see who is asking, but I will see once I'm done, All right? By not consuming sugar and fructose, especially, and alcohol, and by not smoking, your systemic inflammation is going down. This helps to address different mental issues. Uh, this helps to uh, reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and anything really. And coupled with strength training, it provides unbelievable benefits. Which again, when you are healthy, right? When you don't feel really bad, you, it's hard for you to appreciate it until you try it right uh i have different kinds of people who come to me some people come to me because they have disease some people come to me because they have high blood sugar or they're not feeling well they can't function and some people come to me just because they want to lose weight now it's way harder to dedicate yourself to a change when uh, all you want is to lose weight and feel better right it's way easier to go and start the change when a doctor told you you are sick and you will have issues if you don't stop doing what you're currently doing so you need to switch it's really easy to sleep when you eat 
uh, regular diet, uh, and I mean just you're dieting, trying to lose weight, but you're not ketogenic because you're constantly hungry and you are suffering, and maybe you're losing weight, but you, you like that's all that that's going on. When you're on ketogenic diet and you're doing it right, you are not hungry, you are not suffering, your mind is super clear, and when you stop doing that, then you really understand where was the benefit. Because let's agree on that. When you have a change that is positive, you feel it for a while, and then we, we're humans, we just get used to stuff. You get used to stuff, and you get adjusted to a new normal. So for me, for example, I'm used to have clear mind, I'm used to never being tired, and I'm used to feel great. But if I deviate, it hits me like, like a truck, and then I realize, oh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that because I wake up in the morning and I, you know, it, instead of having my mind full of ideas and, you know, being super functional and being able to do multiple things at once, now I just stare at the screen and I'm like, okay, like, I'm tired. What do I, what am I going to do? And until you feel a difference, you can't understand that. Uh, to me, if there's a deviation, I feel like I stopped being superhuman. But when I'm in my normal state, I'm just used to it. To me, it's normal, so I don't appreciate that. And we are humans. We don't appreciate good things. We only appreciate when something bad happens. And uh, I have clients who have arthritis, and we're talking about more uh, on the, you know, uh, older people. And they came to me and they had severe pains, maybe a couple of people had braces, uh, someone had troubles walking, and uh, the goal was just to lose weight. But as a side benefit, or maybe the weight loss was a side benefit, as it appears, suddenly pain goes away and then you don't need a brace. Suddenly you can walk without issues and you can put your cane aside and your mind is clear and you're 76 and you suddenly can go and do shopping, right? And don't think that for younger people it's much different. Of course, you may be not that disabled, but suddenly you can work without having issues. You have great ideas. Uh, you are you become less lazy and you can do more for your family and not just your job right because you always have energy your uh, health is better so now you need to spend less on your uh, doctors and medications now you don't need to uh, have Advil and whatever you take usually for your headache because you never have one and in general Different, different GI issues and uh, any kind of problems mostly go away because guess what? When you eat regular Western diet and you're gassy or you have a heartburn or you get hot or you know you sweat at night, what people say, I mean, it's normal, right? And, or maybe I have meat sweats or I had you know some alcohol uh, and now I have some heartburn or I react to you know pro or whatever right and suddenly when you go and you remove inflammatory foods you don't have any of the issues with you had normally so you, you don't have gas you are uh you don't have a lot of those you know when you eat something in the afternoon and then you want to sleep and this is why uh we have siesta in europe right those things go away you eat and you never want to sleep in the afternoon you don't need that break because that's not normal and that break is in fact your sugar crash. And your energy is always there because you don't have sugar crashes during the day. Typically, you eat some, you're full of energy, a couple of hours later, you have a dip, and then unless you eat something, you are tired. And this is regular person's day, up and down, up and down, and up and down. And every time they're tired, they need to reach and eat something, and then they're good. When you are going low carb, when you're on ketogenic diet, you carry that energy resource on yourself, and that uh, helps you to never be tired because whenever you need it, the energy is there. You always use your own battery, and it doesn't end ever. All right. So if happened, you forgot to eat, or you went 
for for a day without eating because you just couldn't, or maybe you were in flights, uh, maybe you got cap, caught up with work. You don't need to eat because you don't you don't feel hungry, you don't feel cravings, and you don't need anything to you know for um, snack as well. So those benefits are endless, and uh, those are reasons why I'm going to continue that. Right, my calories are adjusted for maintenance, so I'm not losing weight, I'm not gaining weight, and this is the phase that uh, is ultimate place where my clients want to be. We lose weight, we get to a certain point, and from there we we'll maintain. We learn how to stay in one place while having amazing benefits for health all the time, as long as you want it. And I uh, don't think I ever met anyone who don't want to be healthy, right? So uh, sure, we'll want to have a piece of cake here and there, but overall, if you don't do it on a regular basis and you eat correct, you'll be super healthy and you will be uh, super energized all the time. And this is my goal. My goal is uh, to stay, uh, you know, able long enough for my kids not to need to take care of me uh, so I can play with my grandchildren when I'm 80. So I can go in shopping and uh, have fun when I'm 85 by myself without needing anyone's help and not, uh, you know, sitting in somewhere uh, in, in some, you know, uh, place where people need to take care of me that I don't need. And by correct nutrition and by exercise, we can achieve that because we have two ages. We have actual age and we have biological age biological age can be changed by eating correctly and reversing the clock a bit. So even though obviously we all shall die at some point, you can live for years while being older and uh, being kind of disabled and suffering from pains, or you can live your life, be mostly able, have no uh, serious limitation, and then just one day drop that without any issues. What would you prefer, right? I, I just would like to drop that one day. Obviously, uh, not any anytime soon. So think about those things and uh, don't think about switching your uh, diet, switching the way you eat in terms of the weight loss. Think about that as investment in your health for long term, for your longevity and to be there for your uh, loved ones, long term, long, long term. If you have any questions, uh, I'm always here. You can uh, message me, you can write to me, you can comment, you can text me, find me on any platform. Super here to, uh, super happy to be here for you. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, this recording will be up and uh, have a great evening.